Hi everyone, this is Carlos. Ooh, it got blurry, sorry. Okay, um, so in my experience for the most part, when I go to a new town and I see a water tower or whatever water tower I'm looking up at, it usually says the name of the town. Um, this one I walked around part way to the other side. I didn't see anything else written except for United Water. And I'm making this video because I just found out a couple days ago from Lena from Food and Water Watch that uh, some of the many problems that Ocean County is encountering environmentally, a uh, major one, or used to be a major one at least, and I'm curious about what recent developments there have been or what's being hidden, is water. Um, so a lot of this pipe, this, excuse me, a lot of this walk so far has been about um, pipelines and keeping what resources to keep in the ground and not get out through hydraulic fracturing. Um, but also we have resources that are very important to humans that are threatened, um, such as water. And the report, I'm going to change, uh, yeah, I'm going to zoom back out. It amplifies the shakiness. All right. So here, you know, I'll go around. Um, yes. Okay. So you're from Flint. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. So, um, I'm not, and I'm not super familiar with Flint. I was actually going to mention Flint a little later, um, but we have plenty of places in New Jersey, especially under this United Water Company, which may have changed names recently, um, of water not being uh, supplied, not just lack of quality, but dangerous levels. Um, so I'm in Tom's River now. I'm gonna walk around the back to just get a closer view of the water tower. But um, this company, since the 80s, at least, United Water has been doing a number of things. And I'm gonna do my best to rehash what I read, reread in the report just now. This is all new to me, um, the details, but I'll do my best. So, this in Tom's River, there was. If you click on that link in the PDF, this water company that I suppose owns this water tower or used to, I'm not sure who owns it now, um, had abnormally high amounts of certain chemicals that caused um, childhood cancer, especially leukemia, and a number of people back in the 90s. I think it was in 96 it was discovered. And before the report came out, because there was going to be kind of scathing report of their uh, handling of this, they were able to pay a lot of the families outside of uh, knowledge and settle outside. And then there were further settlements, but they never really paid their full amount. And more importantly, the company never actually admitted wrongdoing. Um, this is according to the 2010 Food and Water Watch report. So since then, <coughs> excuse me, there's also been in the 2000s, I think it was 2005, they actually were concealing high levels of certain um, things that would have gotten them in trouble. And so they actively are, the people running it, uh, were actively trying to hide what was really going on with the... Uh, with the water. All right, let me read this. Trevor Andrew is a program that records water quality that can't be faked. Perhaps contact him and look. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. All right. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to do this video. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I look up and saw Water Tower and United Water, and that immediately rung a bell because I knew that was one of the issues that was going on with Ocean County or Tom's River that I'm walking through right now and water privatization in general like this is something that um, I knew about and plenty of my friends knew about being a huge problem in South America um, to where you know it's life-threatening and people had to rebel and basically reclaim their water that was forced corporatization through the neo-imperialism model so why would it be any different here? Why would the water companies magically care about the people more here than they, than they would elsewhere? And they don't. And privatizing water, um, whatever the market efficiency people say, I think that's just a cloak to get into, uh, into our resources and start making money. Essentially, they're just another person that wants to make a profit without actually really having the rights to things, but then, of course, laws can change what's right or wrong. 
but it's another uh, people group of people who are trying to profit when you give control to a corporation. So, um, all right, I'll keep walking around. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point out the stuff happening here in the recent history. I'm not sure if there's any new reports on Tom's River with United Water. They may have changed their name, which a lot of these corporations do when they commit crimes or they have a bad history. But um, I think they used to be U.S. Water. And actually, when they were U.S. Water back in the late 80s, they sold, this is in Bergen County now in New Jersey, they sold a lot of land and, hello, um, they sold a lot of land that was for, that was watershed land and sold it to developers and made huge profits and for whatever reason they already had ownership of the land because it's part of their privatized water situation up there and that actually is now developed land and the water quality there because of that ever since has gone down um, i think they're needed to add treatment facilities another place it's definitely worth mentioning i went to an urban garden there too earlier on this walk um, in Camden, they, um, man, you know, it's cool with the comments. I, I get so distracted. I keep rereading the same thing. Um, I don't, I gotta, this is something to practice. Um, in Camden, the, um, their quality and the state, I think found this, the state department of the DP. Excuse me. I'm trying to say a lot. It's found that they were not doing their jobs essentially so there's lots of reports um, there's tons more than I'm mentioning here of privatization of water not being a good idea or any essential natural resource um, corporations are there to make money they don't have our interests at heart uh, they don't even have heart they just are a money-making scheme and they've gotten worse in my mind than better um, as the years have gone by as it's just become um, more and more naked capitalism for nobody's real benefit except for the people who own the shares, which are very few. But it's a collective loss even to those people because we're losing lots of resources, uh, control of resources, and it's not saving anybody money. So that argument is out for it. Um, and it, it's a loss of control. I'm glad that the report pointed this out that actually giving water control to, so here, I wanna zoom back in on there. Giving control back to, uh, not back, giving control to private corporations essentially takes power out of the town's hands, which the town's hands really means the people. Essentially, if it was, if it is democratically controlled, um, the people can control theoretically their council members, their mayor, and county officials and state officials, theoretically at least. But we cannot control corporations. Um, the best that is usually done are fines, but fines are already factored into corporate, the corporate working model. So if they can make a huge profit and they only have to pay a $500,000 fine, they're gonna do the illegal act and just pay the fine. They're not gonna go to jail because corporations can't go to jail. Um, if they cause lots of cancer, they're going to do it if they're going to be able to make a profit and it won't hurt their overall um, uh, image. So that's sort of the way they work. Um, I don't think they'd intentionally go looking to cause cancer, but um, when they realize there's a danger that they're going to contaminate water supplies and cause abnormally high levels of nucleotides, which happens here in Tom's River, which was one of the problematic things in the 2000s with this United Water Company. Um, they're going to do it. They're not going to, they're just going to go ahead and try and maximize their profits at whatever expense. So privatizing water, privatizing any more land that's public, anything that, because I'm mentioning land now, I'm going to go to developer a uh, place that might be developed later. But any of this um, privatization, I'm tired of saying that word even. It's, it's not the nicest word. Um, is harmful, it seems, to the common interests, which is, you know, endemic in its name even. So, all right, thank you for watching. Um, so this is Carlos uh, reporting from uh, Tom's River. 
I'm by Stop and Shop. I'm pretty sure right across the road is Lakewood where I came from on Route 70. And I'm continuing on. I'm going to a shop right after the Stop and Shop where there's going to be a rally on Saturday. I'll do another video about that because that rally is, is important to keep up energy and enthusiasm to try and fight back against this pipeline that they're trying to put through Burlington and Ocean County. So thank you for watching. I will end this now. Keep fighting.